Hello, I am Lauren Campe. I'm happy to share some point of view about brands today. This sonata has something uh, really um, impressive for me because uh, I think it's music really um, complex and uh, with a lot of emotions and feelings. Of course, it's not easy for the bass because it's really written for cello. So we try to do our best to, to give the best interpretation as possible uh, with the bass. In general, in Brahms, uh, we need a sound really, um, a full sound and uh, with a vibrato, really um, large and not too nervous. With Brahms music, uh, you are like uh, around uh, music. We, you have a lot of sound around you, and uh, you are in, in like a bubble of sound. And um, you have to find this kind of cloud sound, like just being on a cloud and uh, being really comfortable. Uh, first of all, with, without vibrato, just find this quality of sound with a slow bow we can try to find the, this kind of sound and after you add the vibrato I love to have vibrato a bit slow, a bit large, not too nervous like this, but because it's a bit reconforting. It's important to practice it with a continuous vibrato without stop, you know, when you change of notes. Because it creates a lot of waves and we don't like that. So just try to try to find Of vibrating hand and it is really interesting to find this kind of vibrato which is not tying uh, which is just relaxing and um, who helps the sound to to be larger so and even when we are done this uh, this work um, you can uh, start to draw the phrase again you can um, help be helped with uh, the line if you follow the line of a register, uh, we start uh, down, like So the with this uh, higher point of the phrase, he he will be the top of the phrase. So. Just try to, to be conscious of that and to not be too intense in the first note. Just to, to keep something. Kind of in 
this note, which is really expressive. You can find some vibrato more nervous, maybe. Like this. <laughs> 